Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. How's everyone doing on this Saturday? Uh, wherever you are in the world, I know your time, the times are going to be very. We have people from all over the world to watch the channel. So, uh, and the Kieran, happy Sunday morning because our Sunday night for you. Um, or is it? No, it's Sunday morning early, I think, for you, Kieran. So, if you're there, good morning. Um, so, today we're going to start a project. It's going to take a few weeks, it's not going to be done in one go. And we're going to do it live because this is a beta kit. We don't know what's good. We don't know what's, what's bad. And we have to figure stuff out as we go. Uh, we have no instructions for this whole thing. So since I'm going to be busy with the kit, I've asked Jerry, um, which you, some of you probably know, Jerry 3 hp to come in and join me and to be my um, my moderator in the background. Hey, Jerry, hey, how's life? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. So you got one of these. You're waiting on one of these kits to arrive as well, correct? Yes. So this should be a fun build, right? Um, hopefully we'll have a bit of fun with it anyway. Uh, we'll figure out if it works or not. Uh, the, as I said, there is zero instructions for this. So while I'm working on this, I will I will respond to chat, but Jerry is going to watch chat. He's going to read out any questions and so on, and then I will respond while I work on this, okay? Um, you're not uh, Jerry is going to be your my middleman <laughs> between everyone in chat and, and, and myself because I want to give this some time and it's going to take a lot of time. So it's uh, it's going to be new. I had never built a breadth printer before. And these guys have a kit to do so. And what we're going to do, um, if you just let me switch here. And we're going to do is we're going to take an Ender 3 and turn it into this this printer down here in the corner. All right. So and that's a TIG tag, TIG TAC um, kit that converts an Ender 3 into a belt printer. And um, it includes... Uh, 3D printed parts, lots of 3D printed parts, as you see here, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. A right, big bag, 30, 34 or 36 3D printed parts, and um, some additional aluminum extrusion is needed. And this is the beta kit, so the aluminum extrusion is not finished. They, they already, um, I, I already spoke to them about that, and they know. Um, they are going to, they have, they are going to be anodizing them when they ship the, when they ship the paid kits. But the whole purpose of this is to take the, the inner three and turn it into this unusual design of a three of a of a belt printer, which I've never seen before. It, it's it's a little unusual take, but we'll see how it, let's see how it goes. So um, let me go back to Maine. And um, so, what else is happening with you, Jerry, this morning? Oh, not much. I never got much sleep. I'm up early and here for you. Hello, Ann Amish Gnome. How are you doing? And it's not morning, a tick It's a tick tack. Tick tack. T a k. Yeah. Oh, by the way, um, there's no price in the kit yet because it's a beta. They do, they have not finished the um, – they have not put a price in it. So there is extrusion involved. There is a lot. Um, you can 3D print these parts yourself. Uh, uh, I did a Mother Pecci. Uh, I think they're going to have an offering. They may have an offering of when they, they ship the kit with the part already printed for you. So they may have two options on the kit. I do not know. I know they were talking about manufacturing the parts, and they they are three D printing them. So I do not know pricing or anything yet, but it uh, they said it's very very close to being finished, and they want to know. They have a few of us out there are beta testers who are testing this setup to see how it goes. I Good morning, Hutch. Hello, hello. Sorry, uh, while we're when I'm starting in the build, I, I, um, I, I Jerry will be re reciting out the the chat to me because. Uh, I won't be ignoring you, but uh, I'll be ignoring you. <laughs> Let me just up my volume here a little bit. Sorry, one second, guys. So I can hear better. So um, so the, today, I'm not going to be using all of these parts yet, so I'm going to put these aside. And this most of this extrusion, uh, I'll be using some of it. So let me put these parts out of the way. Um, the kit came with lots of pieces, lots of bolts, and the belt. The dimensions, the belt dimensions are Liam, uh, 1046 by 180. Make your yeah, camera I'll put up the large screen once again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the belt dimensions is 1046 by 180. So 180 is the width of your build area. Uh, so that, that and it's it feels like a, like a build tack type of surface. Uh, and I have some printers that have a build tack surface. And it they, they print it prints fine on that. You don't, as long as you don't crash your hot your hot nozzle into it, you should be good, okay? So because uh, it'll melt it otherwise. But let's see how it goes. 
I do have a whole pile of other parts, and I'm not going to go into those today. But today, we are. Um, hey, Amish Gnome. So we're going to today. We're going to actually take this piece, take off the upper gantry, and use that to create the. Um, where is it? No, I don't want. I'm looking at your. I'm looking at your video on Twitch, and you're not real sharp for some reason. I'm always sharp. <laughs> Okay, I don't I'm know. My, my video and your video on Twitch, and for some reason, you look slightly blurish, slightly and, and a little cloudy. That's what I'm well, seeing. I can well, see you, good. but it's not as sharp as it should be for some. I don't reason. know why, huh? Because I'm transmitting at, at, at um, I'm do I'm transmitting on 720. So the whole goal today will be to build the upper part of the gantry, which is the triangular part sitting on top. And that will require taking this off and taking off all the electronics here and making use of this part of the printer. And then uh, next week, we'll go in and we'll start working on the base components. Uh, or we'll take off more parts of the, of the base and start using some of that to build, to put, build the area on which we will be mounting on our belt. Oh, you're about to, I don't know why that's the case because... Um... Hello, Chris. Hey, Chris Mick. How are you? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why that's happening. That's weird. Because normally it's not like that. Let's give it a minute and see if it settles down, yeah? For the first time ever, Liam is uh, on a paid version of StreamYard like I am. And DeWitt Tim is a sponsor for Thank this you. next month because Tim donated $25 to him yesterday so he could pay for this. And hopefully he'll get future donations. Liam doesn't like asking people for things. I have no problem, and I'm on his stream. So if anybody wants to help him buy future months of StreamYard at 25 a month, that'd be awesome to help him out. You don't have to, but it'd be awesome if you could. Hey, Jeff. How are you? Hello, Jeff. Okay. Really so we're going to do the upper gantry, which are going to require these two pieces, which are the uprights for the gantry. And then we have some of the extrusion. We'll be building out the rest of it. And then our... Uh, our Z axis on the Ender 3 will become our Y axis on this gantry, which will be slotting in here and bolting it all together. So let me get the bolts. I have them over here. Hello, Llama. How are you doing today? Richard4291. Welcome, welcome. The drop games are being turned off today, but the stuff in chat will work. Yeah. Um, yes, that's correct. The, the chat games do work, like uh, Gamble and so on. Plinko and, and so on are not working on screen. So they, I want to keep the recording clean. Hey, Rob, how you Where's doing? It, you guys? I'm just moving some stuff around. I'm just getting out of all the bowls. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy okay. Holiday. Sorry. T-nuts. Bolts. More bolts. Grub screws. I don't think I need them right now, but grub screws for, for idlers and so on. So I'll put those away. Hello, Richard. Hello, Hello Maker Viking. Hey, Viking. How are you? Hey, Thomas. How's life? How many hey, printed Richard. parts are there, Liam? Uh, 36 parts were printed, 3D printed. Okay, um, cool. Most of them were done out of Petchy. I did a nice out of the screen Petchy. But there are some of them. I did there's one part I did out of PLA. There's a drawer in there for storing tools and so on. And I did out of PLA. Okay, very nice. Yeah, the other day, guys, when I was live, I was printing some of these parts. Uh, they, they had printed for 14 hours, and then while I was sitting here on my computer not paying attention, I ran out of filament. And I did not have my filament run out center hooked up. Thanks, so I had to get on Amazon and order another roll of filament, so I wasted a bunch. Well, yeah, Petchy is you either have a tuned profile for it or you don't. And if you don't have a tuned profile, it gives problems. So, yeah. So, all right. So we're going to start with this. I'm going to leave myself on main screen like this for now. I'm going to start taking the upper gantry parts apart, and then I'll store away the base of it because we won't need that for now. Um, so let's get going. I'll, let's start off with keep this out of my way, and I'm going to move these off the table. Sorry for the noise, guys. I just left them up there so you can see what's, what's involved. Um, these parts we will be using. We'll just park them out of the side. And let's start into taking apart our spoon holder, because we don't need that. We will have a spool holder, but it's a wrong wrench. Of course it is. The one, the one I want to use is not the right one. 
Is that typical? No reason to come prepared and be ready to go. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to do this like every other, everybody else does it, right? Here we go. Spool holder. Maker oh, Viking said he's, he's finishing up on his Patreon project. And how are you doing? Hey, Maker. Cool. So we're going to take off the power supply. Let's disconnect the power supply at the back first. This is the Pro, so it has a mean well power supply. Now, I do know, I've already noticed one thing about the kit, and it was designed for the Ender 3, not the Ender 3 Pro. Well, so, they do. Um, they have, I've already asked them to do a modified version of, of the, there's one holder for the power supply, um, and... The pro part, the, the meanwhile part supply does not fit in it. Hey, three. So, yeah, so I've reached out to them and I've asked them to uh, do a mod of the the, the mounting units for the power for the uh, main board and the, the power supply because it is slightly different when you're on the pro. I will keep all of these bolts um, in here. We don't need I noticed when I took off my Easy ABL off my Pro that I had ten wires on the power supply. Ten wires on the my power supply on my original Ender Three Pro I had ten wires on the power, so I put oh a, ten oh yeah I yeah ferrule on them. Yeah, I, I have a ferrule kit for this as well. Uh, let's see. I need to take off the Z screw. We don't need to use that anymore. There is then in this setup. The Z screw, there's no Z screw, they're actually using belts. So they, they've moved away from using a screw for the for the Y axis. Sorry, it's belts on the Y axis because this Z becomes a Y axis on the new printer. So, um, they are they switched over to using belts on that. Let's see what else I need to get out of here. I need to take off the extruder, we have all of these cables. Pull up your little camera. Sorry? Uh, I was going to say pull up your little camera while you're on the big camera, too. Oh, you're going to do two in one? Sure, I can do that. Uh, uh, not that one. one second, I can turn that off. One second. There you go. Uh, no, that's not the one I want. I want this one. There you go. No, that's not a good one either. That's better. <laughs> Let's right. figure it out, right? We're <laughs> so, um... We need to take off this, this. We do not need this Z screw. It's no longer needed as part of this kit. Leave it down. Out of my way. Um, the extruder and so on. I'll get to that later. But we do not use that. But I'm going to leave it on for now temporarily. And I need to go down one more size on the stepper motor is going to be removed off this as well because we're not using the stepper motor on this. It's going to be repurposed and moved out to a different location. Chris Mink says, take a breath and relax. Liam, you look nervous. I'm oh. not nervous. I'm on these streams all the time. If it was just me on this on my own, um, since I got the kit about a week ago, it would probably already be half, half done by now. But I decided to show you to do it live because let's see how it goes, right? That's why, why we're in this. We all learn from each other. We're going to have a bit of fun with it. And if it falls apart and we get blue smoke, all the better, right? More content for everybody to enjoy. We'll turn it into a tripod stream. <laughs> what do you think, Jerry? Will we do a tripod stream? Since everything you're doing is mechanical and not electrical, that's not going to happen. Not right now. We'll, we'll get to electrical to next time. Motors. Yeah, later on we'll get to electrical. I'm going to store ah, over here. It's fine. Right. Now we have to take off the X-Gantry. And we need to 
Doom. Yeah, Vape Doom. I, I've used tin wires on some of my printers. They've been on there for years. But if for any reason uh, the print the connection should get hot, that solder may melt. And if it does, you'll have a loose connection, which can start a fire. Correct. Or and you may never ever, ha ever have a problem, but it's best to replace them. That way you're guaranteed you won't have a problem. Yeah, you should always use furls. Yeah, I agree. Um, tin wires, what happens is the solder migrates when it gets warm. And when that happens, you run into issues. So this hot end is going to be reorientated. And I would actually, I can reuse this hot end, but they, they did supply a hot end. Mama said tripod would still find a way to smoke it up. <laughs> I seen a, a video clip on Facebook that I tagged tripod in and it was a uh, fiber laser. A guy had his hand on a metal card with his fingers and he was engraving around his fingers basically. And the fiber laser was running over his fingers and in this video it didn't hurt him. Hello, Sith Lord Britt. How are you? Hey, Britt. How are you? Good morning. I need to take this apart. Subsector 3D. Hello, hello. So, for those who do not know, we are building a, uh, a new printer. We're going to take an Ender 3, take it apart, and turn it into a belt printer. And we're going to start. It will not be all done in one go, definitely. But we are going to start on it today. And see Rich how says, good morning. I am si excited about this conversation. Subsectors, cool. good morning all. Uh, yeah, Vape Doom, if you're able to uh, replace them with barrels, that's best to do that. Like yes. I say, I have printers that have had 10 uh, wires, and I've never caught it. They've been fine, but it's best to replace them when you see them. Yeah. In Creality, I have a ha horrible habit of tinning their wires. There's other manufacturers who do it too. They're not the only ones, right? But um, they consistently do it. Other, some, um, but they're starting to change. Aren't they generally to newer machines, I believe? I don't have any newer machines. Yeah, I believe they're starting to change. Everything's old like me. <laughs> We're not that old. No. You're only a couple of years older than I am. Yeah. Are you are you calling me old? No, you're around fifty. You're not old yet. Give it a couple of years. I'm what? You said I'm not fifty. I'm fifty-two this year. Oh, are you? Okay. Congratulations. What to be old? <laughs> When I was a kid, I thought somebody my age was old. But now that I'm that age, it's like no, I look different, but I still think you know think the same as I did when I was younger. But anyway, I agree. You're as old as you as you feel, right? 3D Jeff just turned fifty-five. Cool. And Maker says we're old guys. We're all old curmudgeons. Yes, oh, I did. Maker. I'm in. I'm watching season the first season of uh, Viking Valhalla. It's been on Netflix. I'm on like episode six right now. I started watching it yesterday. Oh yeah, I've been watching that as well on Netflix. I don't watch a lot of TV, but I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, uh, Brett says when she was younger, she called a certain age group old. Now she regrets saying it. Well, I don't regret saying it, but <laughs> I did say it. <laughs> Subsector 3D says she'll be 58. Rob is turning 54. Yeah, uh, Maker is excellent. Really good. Yeah. It's 100 years after the fact of the original Viking series. If you've been watching it, it takes place 100 years later. Yeah, I've started watching it. Richard, okay. hello, Richard. 4291. He'll be 62 next month. Congrats. Cool. Social Security. <laughs> okay, now we need to take off the filament sensor. Off this. This one, maybe. Or oh, sorry, not the filament sensor. The um, the ZN stop. You don't need that right now. Maker says on Thursday it'll be forty-two, and he wants to do a birthday hangout stream. Oh, cool! Congratulations, happy birthday! If I miss it. Lots of pieces coming off. Mama now says we're getting on the brass axe. We're going to take off the gantry. 
because we're going to use that in today's build. Okay. Um, so I need to tilt that over here. I'm going to take out the, the, the screws underneath. I think is this the right size? No. So we're going to take off the bolts out of this. Next one again. Four mil. So two weeks or uh, two or three weeks ago, I got this printer, and I um, I did a live unboxing. And the only reason why I did a live unboxing is one, I had a printer to do live unboxing with, and secondly, uh, I needed to make sure it works, and it does. Uh, so I didn't have to return it. I it was um it was at Micro Center for with a coupon for ninety nine dollars plus tax. So it came up to about one hundred and five dollars, depending on your local state tax. Sorry to hear that, Richard. He what can't happened? get his social till he's 66. He lives in the UK. Oh, yeah. So in the UK, I don't even know if they, what they, I don't even know if they call it social security. Uh, it's, I think they do. I think it's a slightly different name. Chris Prillo. Hello. How are you? Good morning, Mr. Prillo. How is life? So we are actually, we got an Ender 3 here, and I'm taking it apart. Um, it's no longer going to be an Ender 3 as of today. It's for a week or two, it's going to be um, Ender 3 pieces, and then in about in about two in about three weeks, I'm guessing, uh, maybe four, we're going to turn this into a belt printer. So I'm taking apart the gantry because on today's part, we're going to do the upper part of the gantry of the build. And then the last part, I'm going to turn towards me so it's, I can hold it better. What else is happening? We must Mr. Prillo up to, to this morning and everybody else. Out there causing trouble, are you? It's early morning for you, Chris, just like it is for Jerry, because Jerry's on the West Coast like you are. Okay. And there we have it. So the rest, let me put this on the floor temporarily. The rest of this will not be used today. So we'll stick that aside over here. There, I put a picture of what we're doing on my screen. Sure, what I can show it here. It's on, um, let me get the right scene up. Uh, where am I? Uh, not that one. Sorry. Let me go over here and change this. State Pension of the UK, Richard says it's called. Okay. So, um, are, are you putting up the, the picture, Jerry? So let me show you. Yeah, let me show you what it looks like. Um, it's on my Jerry's screen. Mean. Yeah, just so everybody sees it. So this is a TIG TAC, T-A-K, TIG TAC. I'm going to put Jerry as the main. See, so we're taking the inner tree and we're going to turn into that belt printer on the right hand side. That's what we're doing today. And we're going to start doing today. Um, and today we're going to do the upper triangle gantry that, that they have. And that's what we're going to start on. Now, I will say there is no instructions for this. Zero. This machine is a beta. Um, the kit's a beta. They have not one bit of instructions. The only thing they have is a short video. And I mean, very short video. Showing the print, showing the, the, the printer rotating, and then it explodes and comes back together again. And I think it's about 10 15 seconds long. That's it, that's all we got. So we are building blind. Uh, so there will be mistakes made along the way, and that's why we do it live. So we make mistakes, we help each other out, people chime in, give advice. Um, so one thing I do want to do while I'm here is I want to get up that breakout video. Uh, and show what we're doing. There's your link online. I just posted it. There are yeah, so I, I can share. Um, let me do a, I, I, I can. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take that, this gantry as is. And we are going to mount it in a different orientation. And we're going to put it into this framing. So this will be used. 
Uh, let me see what else I need to do here. One, just one quick second. Um, okay. So I want to make sure I get the orientation the right way around. I'm just looking at one picture that, they, that we got. And this actually has to come off because it has to go on in a different orientation. When this goes on, we are actually going to flip these around this, this way. It looks like so i'll get i'll get i can leave that off and i can attach it later on and we're going to take this setup and it's going to be we're going to start off by mounting it in here so the tolerances for these are really tight um and so i have to feed in some tea nuts and bolt it on here and I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. Comic Age Clothing, hello, hello. It slides in right through this. You're going to see close up. Um, are, are we showing the close up? We are. So actually, let me change the view around to being the close up primarily, and then I'll, I'll be in the bottom corner. Perfect. Right? And then this is going to be slide right into these grooves. And the tolerances are really tight, so you have to jam them in there. And then I'll put in the tea nuts afterwards and I'll feed them in with using a a wrench to get them lined up before I put the bolts into them. So for each side I'll need three bolts and three tea nuts. If I missed any shout outs in chat for those of you that stream on Twitch, let me know and I'll post it. So I'm gonna turn it on edge. Um we don't have my close up there, so let me do let me do uh, is that, that's a better view so you can see so I'm putting it on edge and I'm going to feed in the tea nuts and actually push them down into the position so I can get the nuts aligned um, I could put them in a pre and um, uh, put them in here but they're kind of awkward to get in sometimes it's easier just to slide them into place so we'll drop in each one tea at a time and of course you drop it in and it goes in the wrong orientation perfect So I'm going to be close to me and slide it in. And whenever possible, keep all your nuts and bolts in a tray or on a rubber mat because when Liam drops it on the floor, it'll be looking for it for a week. Oh, interesting. There's different sizes. For 2020 and 3030, possibly? Uh. There's different size bolts and T-nuts, so I have to make sure. Cry 10 says, hello, Liam. Who said that? Cry 10. Hey, Cry, how are you? I didn't uh, notice there were different sizes. He says, you missed my live stream, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. When was that, actually? I believe I'm following you, so. It's aligned. That feels good, I believe. Actually, no, that's the wrong size Tina. Let me take out that Tina again and I'll put in the proper size one. I think that's the wrong size. Let me verify. Cry10 says, I'm great. Managed to get to see our uh, lizard scanning really well. Oh, good. Yeah, I didn't get to see that. I, um, I've seen the, some of the the videos out there of it, and it looks good, but the question is, is it better than the Revo port? The Revo port looks like a really good machine, and I'm wondering, is it, is, does it do scan better? That's a good fit. Okay, this will be better. Okay. It was at 12 p.m. today. I've uh, been doing a scan to print from the CR Lizard. Yeah, tighten down. Let's make sure it, it stays. Yep, that's solid. Do the second one. Feed in our Tinas. So 
But what I'm my goal is maybe each week do maybe two to three hours of a, of a, an event, see how it goes. Um, well, not two or three hours, one to two hours each each week, and to slowly get this built up. He said he did a face scan and print. He's got a mini mini me now, a mini, mini him. Me. Hey, well, that's the big thing, isn't it? The mini Joels and the mini gyms and all this kind of stuff. Everybody's doing them. That lined up. So, let's see how we're doing. 21 people watching. Cool. Welcome, everybody. Um, your, name, your name is kind of blocking what you're doing, but we can see a little bit. Uh, okay. Uh, I can fix that. I can move that window up. Just give me a second. Um, how's that? Better. Okay. So we're going to have to repeat this on both sides. Get it nice and snug. These are plastic, so don't over tighten them again so they're, they're tight, but not overly tight. And I can give you an idea of how it's going to be set up. So we're going to have a belt in the bottom. This is going to be attacked, and, and this now becomes our Y axis. Right? Nice. So you can see here. So this is the Y axis. Um, your Z axis is the belt, and your X axis is left to right as, nor as a nor normal on a printer. So let me flip this over and do the other side. Actually, I want to put something underneath that because it's going to tear up my. It's going to tear up my. Uh, Side free cool. printing. Hello, Bear. Hey, Bear. Good morning. Bear just cheered 100 bits. Oh, thank you, Bear. Thank you so much. So, again, for this side, I will need three of each T nuts and bolts. Be sure that all the T nuts are the right size. Apparently, there was, there's multiple sizes in there. And they were all lumped together, but it is a beta kit, so I'm okay with that. Let's see. Yep, we got three. Okay, perfect. So again, I'm going to bring this over towards me. It's easier when it's close to me, for me. And I'm going to feed in the tea nuts and get them right down into the where they need to be. Okay. I'm going to get this in place. Come on, lock in, lock in, come on. Oh, I need to redo that one. Take it out. We didn't align properly. Let's try that again. There we go. Let me check to make sure you're fully seated. Yeah. So then this, as I said, this is just the start of it. There's a lot more components to be done. The belt will probably be one of the later stages to be done. Anybody have any questions out there, Jerry, about the build or? About the kids? Not, not, not yet. Everybody's just talking to each other about this and that. Cool. Oh, Amish Gnome says, what are their parts uh, printed out of? Well, I oh, printed yeah. these myself, and I did them out of Pitchy. Um, I, Except I would drawer. recommend structural parts be Pitchy. Your drawer, you done PLA, right? Sorry, I did the drawer, which I can show you. I finished showed it a while ago, but I can show it again. Um, the drawer is PLA. Because there's going to be no no heat, it's going to be supporting no structure. So this is a drawer that will go in underneath the belt as well for storing components. Very nice. But I did our PLA. Um, I wanted the black to be black like the belt, and um, since it's not going to be holding and supporting any weight or any structure, I didn't mind it. Um, I didn't want. I didn't mind it not being. Uh, Pitchy, but all the structural parts are all pitchy in my case. Now, 
Could you do it in PLA? Yeah, maybe. But I wouldn't recommend PLA for anything structure. You, I would do pitchy, um, ABS, poly, uh, PC, or whatever, something like that would be better. I don't print polycarbonates in my home because of the dangers involved with PCs. Um, uh, and ABS is the same. So I, but I do, uh, I, Pechi would be the strongest structural part I would actually print in the house. I do have an enclosure here behind me. Yes, his um, mic is still clipping and he hasn't bought it, hasn't managed to pick, figure it out yet. Yeah, I don't know why that's happening. And it only happens when I'm using, um, when I'm going to StreamYard. So you don't need that. Let me kill that. I mean, kill anything else I don't need. I don't think there's anything else running in the background. I found and, that when you're doing the on-screen games, it kills my performance, and it causes the clipping. Without it, it's actually performs better. And he's not sure why his video is not real clear. So, yeah, I well, first of all, this camera is a, is um is a web is a web-based camera, so it's not a very very high resolution for the up close one here. But the main camera should be good. Is the main camera good? It's not really crisp. It's not as crisp as like as my my screen, like it should be. Normally it is, but for some reason it's not. You know how the LA hobby guy a lot of times looks washed out and bright. Yeah, you look a little bit like that. Not as bright, but a little bit like that. Hmm. So. That's interesting. And then your small camera is blurrier than this big one, but it'll work. Yeah, I I don't know. It's. Uh... Ever since I reinstalled this computer, I've had not more, I, I've had issues with it, and I can't figure out what's going on. Okay. You can tell me why. Okay. Uh, I'm sure the machine is underpowered. First of all, I'm pretty sure that's part of the reason. Uh, let's see what else I need to do. I need to. Uh, there's parts I need to attach to the upper part of this gantry. So, the next part I'm going to do is there's attachments to go on here. Um, that extend out the back here to build this frame. There's a Sith reason. There's always a Sith reason. The force is against me, I'm sure. Uh, let's see. I need to do this part and this part. So, um, these parts... Brit says, says oh, go on read her comment the light behind me well that well it could be and you think it's the blinking lights because the light coming in the window is hard to, to um uh yeah maybe and I, I can't fix that because it's um the snow on the ground is reflecting on the light i'll have to look at that for the next stream is blocking off that window Thank you for the tip. Uh, let me see. I need to... Um, this piece and this piece create this upper part of the gantry. So let me just check one thing. Chris says, oh yeah, if it's a webcam, you don't have your exposure locked. Yeah, but it should be fine for the close here because it's not that much moving, maybe. We'll see. This goes on like so, I believe. Jerry, it's for you. Uh, let me see. Just verify this before I proceed. I want to verify one thing. I have a break. I have an exploded view. And I want to make sure the orientation is right in the, before I move to the next stage. So it goes on top. Uh, let me see. Sorry, there, as I said, there is no instructions on this. I'm going by a single, uh, a single short, very short video of an exploded view of the setup. So that goes downwards here. And this gets attached here. Okay. So this goes on.
here, like so. And inside here, so this is going to be running off this, will be there'll be a part coming over here to create this upright, which I have. And then the same for here. And then inside here, there'll be a bearing that runs down to the um, that runs down to control the Z or the the Y axis. So the Y axis will travel this distance here. Yeah, Chris. Usually that isn't what that one was, but yeah, usually. Which? Oh, my phone call. Just BS calls. Oh. Your cars, your cars warranty. Yeah, something. <laughs> So, um, there are, these black ones are probably for that, I'm guessing. Somebody used to call for Marco for years and years from some kind of a charity fund that's BS. And I went without a landline for quite a few years, just use my cell phone. The day I hooked a landline bat up, back up, when I increased my speed on my internet, the very first call I got was from that same person asking for Marco again. So that conversation didn't go very well. Really? Yeah. The fact that your line was off for so long, I'm surprised. Okay. Yeah. So this is asking for a bolt to be put in here, and this is not tapped. Oh, no. Oh, well, that's on your, okay. That's not tapped on your Ender 3 because it's never tapped. Huh. Which is fine. I can bolt it on. I just can't put that one bolt in there. I can put, I can bolt everything else together. Um, I just can't do that one piece on top. You see, for this one, I'm going to pre-attach the bolts. Um, I, can I? I can't. Interesting. Actually, no, that's wrong. I was doing that wrong, am I? I am. Uh, let me see. That should be down. Like here. These are very, very, very tight tolerances. And also, PETG does tend to shrink a little bit when you when you print with it. So um, be aware of that. So let's see. I'm going to get the, the T-nuts for here. It requires two. I'm sure to the right I'm size. But Weekly Maker Hangout will be at 1 p.m. Pacific today, everyone, on Twitch. Yeah, I'll be in there. So let's get that in place. Okay, so I'm attaching these. These make up the top of the gantry. Um, where is the this one need? Holy crap, is it Chris Perlow? There, you need a new line. Okay, I have to do the inside, where there's two bolts. Let's make sure I get the right size T-nuts. Too small. Maybe the bolt is too big. Well, there's different size bolts in there too. I said thank you for watching, everyone. And Bear says, "No, I don't. I'm a, I'm establishing tradition." <laughs> um. 
Bear, behave. <laughs> For a change. <laughs> Uh, so let's get it on. We'll get the next one in place. Because these were all mixed, I'm verifying the um, the tea nuts fit with the bowls each time. Because they're not a, they're not um, a perfect fit. Some of them. Bear said my comment was mostly, most certainly directed at Liam's bear. You need a new line comment. <laughs> so, guys, what, what else going on with you guys? That looks like uh, the picture I have. But now, now I need to do the other side. The other side, uh, let me see what it looks like. Make sure the orientation is right around. Okay, so this is, sorry guys, I only got one in one blowout view, and I need to figure out from that how everything is put together. And it was a very, very, very short video. So I'm assuming it is like so. And attaching... This way, aren't those both mirrored parts? Uh, no, they're not. They're different because one, because the way they're doing it is, uh, mm. one side will have the stepper driver to control, um, or the stepper driver to be on top, and that will have um, a small belt coming out of that to a okay. gear, to a, an idler, which is driving a shaft between these to move both of them, because there's a, a belt on both sides to move the belt up evenly on both sides. 3D Jeff is cleaning and listening. Vape Doom says it's too cold to start up any printers in my garage. So just chill them literally until it warms up in here. They look about right. What do you think? What do you guys think? Looking good. Nice. So, again, there's a hole here, that, but this is not tapped. So, I will have to put a, I'll just put one bolt in it, but there's two on the inside, so that should be fine. Britt says she's listening and doing her nails and printing. Well, Britt, I've seen your nails. I'm sure that's a job in and in on itself. <laughs> so I'm printing over here as well. I'm printing on Prusa, and you know, D with three D and Tim. He also he he printed those, and I, I saw them, and I said, okay, I got to do a set of those. So. He was doing the um, the rep cord uh, filament holder or filament rack uh, brackets. And I saw them. I said, well, I have an empty wall over here. That's a great place to put filament. So uh, I've already got one printed, which came out really good. Oh, that didn't work. So I, I'm doing a second one. And I'm going to, I'm probably going to mount some of my filament on the wall. In the coming days, it's a good idea for storage. Wall printers are better than floor printers. Well, it's going to be. It will be a wall. Print. It's going to be. Uh, actually, I have printers that are on the floor that I print with. So. Come on, bite! Ah, doesn't want to bite. Try that again. Remember, I switched out filament earlier, the PET G on the part for that belt printer. Yes. I'm on my extruder. All of a sudden, started clicking on me out of the wood. Like what the hell? So I'm trying to help hand feed it to get past the clicking. I don't know why it's clicking. But it might be temperature. Yeah, I'm printing at 250. Yeah, but do both materials print at the same temperature? PET-G is not PET-G is not PET-G. The same 230 to 250 on this other spool when I swapped it out. I normally do PET-G around 240. 
That's crazy. So different materials, because of the additives and the materials, they can print at different temperatures. Because I thought I was going to run out of filament, so when before we went live, I switched out the color to a different color of PETG, and then at the end, I was going to switch back. It's just, I hate when that happens. Because that'll be the same prints that I failed after 17 hours I had to throw out when I ran out of filament. So one thing I want to make sure... All the way up before I tighten it in. Vape Doom says, uh, should see if they would consider the snapping T mounts instead of the crappy hammerhead ones. Uh, yeah, it was already mentioned to them. Um, I, I do not know, that they didn't respond, but it has been mentioned to them because I believe he mentioned it actually to them. On their um, or, or on their Facebook group, I believe, if memory serves me correctly. Good fit. Two on the inside. Because these parts slot, slot over, you cannot pre-attach the two nuts. You have to do them in place. So it's a bit of a pain, but as long as the part is not too long and you can reach in there with a with a hex key, you should be fine. Let's see how it goes. Okay. So these attached, and then we'll do the rest. We'll do the upper part of the gantry. Um, remember, parts are plastic. Do not over tighten them. Tighten them to, so they they can indent a little bit, but not too much. The, the, the tolerances on these are pretty tight, so you don't have to. Um, you probably will not have to worry about over tightening, um, or you don't have to over tighten them to get them the setup to be rigid so so far this is what we got so we're going to have idler here that will run up i don't know can you see let me change the view actually i'm in the wrong view here i'm sorry um let me switch the views i want this one mostly so we're going to have an idler here and here that will run up that would then this will these will host belts to move our X gantry up our, our, our X gantry up and down. And, and this now becomes a Y axis and our bed uh, our belt when it when it's when it's put in here will become our Z axis. And all oh, that's attached. It's looking okay. I didn't miss anything, I don't think. Other than these, these ones, these holes here. There, there there's holes there, but the extrusion is not tapped by default, so you'd have to tap it. To use that uh, let me change the uh, screen to this one it's probably better so you can see the large view as well so next we need to attach extrusion to come out of here and I have two angle, two pieces that are cut at 45 degrees these are cut at 45 degrees and these will mount I going to verify with the video so let me just go by and check and check the one screen I have why did that happen? Sorry, one second, guys. I lost the, um, the image I had up. And I have to go find it again, so give me a second. Let me check the group. All right, there's an exploded view video that I'm, and it's very short. But I'm using that as the source for how to build this. Because there's no instructions yet. Uh, and I want to make sure. I have to make lunch. Okay, Lana. Um, this is going to take a moment. So I want to make sure. This one has to go in. Like so. To meet this upright here. 
So actually with this, I can attach two nuts in advance. So let me go do that and make it it'll make it easier to put, put it together. I'll be back there in one second. Take your time, Jerry. So what, what's everybody else up to? Lama's going to make lunch. Make a lunch for all of us, Lama, I hope. These are easier to get to, so I can actually start them in advance. And just slide the extrusion into place. There's four on each side, four bolts to be put in. Let's turn it this way so you can have a better view. Which is attached. And then we'll put the slide extrusion into place and then we'll come um, these I will not over tighten because I want to be able to check the squareness of the frame once it's together. So we have the T-nuts here. Let me show you. We'll turn around so it's easier for you. With the T-nuts here, we're going to line them up and then we're going to slide the extrusion in there with the 45 degree section of it pointing downwards. It takes a little bit, this will take a little bit of teasing them into place, but let me orientate it towards me so I can see what I'm doing. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. the right way I need a bit of force on this one to get it in place and this tolerance on, the, on these on these plastic parts is so narrow every now and again when I wiggle stuff I can hear it creaking I don't want to force it too hard I don't want it to crack on me even though it's, it is petchy um, How much infill? Sorry? How much infill do you use? 15%, uh, but I did four walls. And when you don't have... Where am I looking for? When you don't have a hammer, you use a wrench instead. <laughs> Sorry about the noise. I need to get this in. And it's a very tight fit. Rubber mallet would be the best. Yeah, but I don't. You know what? I'm going to take the bolts out. I'll just feed the bolts in like I did a while ago. That way, then I can push it into place in one go. Let me take these out. Yeah, I'll just reverse because the bolts are getting stuck. They're snagging it, is what they're doing. So I'm just going to take them out and I'll, go, I'll revert back to the way I was doing it a while ago. It's a little bit more trouble, but... Yeah, it'll be hard to line them up and you can get it. Yeah. I'll just revert back to what I was doing a while ago. That way then I can slot it into place in one go. I was hoping to try and... You know, push it into a spot, but it's not going to work out. So I'm just sliding it in like this. And I was trying to make my life easy, and I was actually ended up making my life hard. So we'll go back to the, the tried and trusted way. Make uh, Chris Mink wants to know all the parts free to print. Uh, they the are in GitHub. The parts are free to print. 
but the kits are not available yet. The, the kit is in, is in beta stage right now, so the kit is not available yet. Um, they sent it out to a few people to do and to do beta testing with it. Uh, they announced a few days ago that they are closing their beta. They sent it out to enough people. Jerry was lucky; he got in the last minute. Um, so Jerry is supposed to have a kit on his way, on the way. But uh, yeah, anybody else will have to wait until it's released. I've got to abort my print. Are you having problems? Yeah, it's under extruding. I switched back film and it's starting to feel spongy. So up, up to temperature. I'm at 250 already. Uh, okay, well, I've seen some pet G's that require really high temps. So it was printing fine, and I switched over to ESUN to fill in the gap on it being a slightly different color change. And now I went back to what I had in it. So. Oh, but yeah, but if the other one required, uh, it's the part that the drawer goes into, so I'll have to stop it once I get to the roll of just film. Just do it in I, PLA. Well, I've already got it like eight inches tall. It's a ton of film on already. All right, I can just glue it. I can reprint it and glue it together, measure it. Yeah, it's not structural, so I did. That's why I did mine order PLA. We've been going for about an hour. We're going on just for for the last hour now, and we're we're roughly where I'm hoping to be. Maybe um, we'll get this the last of this done in the next thirty minutes, and we can. Then that would be the first stage that we're going to co cover today. Um, I don't want to stream and keep going for four hours or whatever. Like if I kept going at this, I could have it done in a whole day. But hello, Zolan. Do that. Hey, Zolan. We don't want to, to do that to anybody. Um, so that's the first part of it. Done. I'm going to do the other side. Let me get that set up and ready to go. And we should be in a position to um, finish off the back of the gantry. And, and be, the gantry should be done for today. Very nice. So let's get this together. Again, lots of T-nuts, lots of bolts. Verify the size of them that the fit because I read into the issue that they, there are some diff various sizes in there. It's all on a Brit went narf narf. <laughs> That's Zolan's greeting, right? Yep. Keep this in place. Where it should be. What did you break now, Jerry? No, my hybrid cube bottomed out and kept running. I was in Octoprint and I just dropped it. I didn't, I didn't tell it to keep running. What the hell's going on here? Your end stop not kick in? Yeah, I just, oh God, I had it set to 100 millimeters to go down. I thought it was on 10. So yeah, that would do it. <laughs> <laughs> it and just kept running. Okay, that's crazy. What do I was making noise? All right. One thing I want to do this is this is a bit high. Let me loosen that. This is a bit high, and I want to move it down a little bit more. Now, I, my rubber man is not here, so I'm going to just tap it in with whatever's available. That's better. You get it locked in, and then I'll go back to the other one. Thank you for the shout out, Solon. I plugged everybody originally, but more people keep coming in. Oh, yeah. Say hi to everybody who's in chat, whoever's there. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining us. Remember, follow. Follows do not cost you a penny. If you want to subscribe to the channel, you can do so via um, uh, your Amazon. You can do normal subscription, which you pay for, or you can do it if you're an Amazon Prime member. Yeah, you can do it through Amazon Prime, and it won't, and it won't cost you anything extra. So... You're paying so much for your prime membership, you might as well use it for something. Use some of that money for something else, and uh, really? is our appreciate. And it's Jeff Bezos is paying the fee, not me, not not you. So, yeah, I pay hundred way getting a piece of, Je of Jeff Bezos's um, large uh, bank account. 
my uh, yearly fee of 120 is going to 139, but I do order an awful lot from them, so it does benefit. Yeah, they're up in the price now. Yeah, yeah. Or is it later in the year they're doing it? It's later this it's, year. It's supposed to be, I think, in March, but I don't. I don't. I have to go see if I have to pay the difference now or if I just pay. You know, you pay in uh, renewal. That's in November, December. Yeah, you pay in renewal. You don't pay it now. So I'm. Um, any other comments in there? I, I haven't. General Jerry's watching them, but. Okay, so on. So I'm heading off. It did say Twitch TV slash Zolan, so I guess that was someone else. Instead of that Zolan, all right. Thunder DK74, hello, hello. First time chatter. Oh, welcome. Um, how did you hear about well, us, first of all? Says Renee from Denmark here. He's from Denmark, sweet. Let's get this tightened up. That's good. I Comic the... Age Clothing said they found out that Prime Gaming doesn't work with their business account. Oh. Thunder DK74 says, dude, you know me. Yes, we know you, Renee. Yeah. How was life, Renee? So... We are well underway for the upper gantry. Yeah, it's looking good. Oh, the focus is, yeah. So we're well underway. Um, now we need to turn around and add in the uprights, which are here. And then this up, these uprights then will then attach via here. Which I'll show the other side because it's easier. It's better for camera. You think you're going to need to tap your drill and tap your upper extrusions? Where I will, I, I will that one because it um it it, it does require um there's an opening for a bolt, but it's not tapped. So uh, maybe it was tapped in a later printer. I'm not sure. Okay. When you realize whatever size drill bit and tap, you need to let me know, and I'll see if I have them. If not, I'll probably pick them up. Yeah, so this is going to go together like this. And then this... Um, the brackets are PETG. This will go in here and join it all together. So this is what we're going to end up getting. So let's... Uh, do it piece by piece. I will leave this aside. I think, and I'm not sure, just let me verify one thing. I need to check one part, and it doesn't show us, but I want to see if I can find the... Um... Come on, load, load, load. Uh, I want to see if the four bolts go on the bottom. and I th Actually, I think they do. Because Yeah, the four bolts go... There's, in this piece... There are four, four holes in there, and they are not tapped, but I believe the bolts need to go through there into the base to mount this on, to give it rigidity. So the bolts go, but go down to the bottom of this setup. So some T-nuts, more T-nuts. I don't think with all these tea nuts, I'm going to go nuts at the end of the industry. <laughs> um, let's see. These, these ones. Renee in Denmark is a Lego man, right? Yes. Yep. He's a Lego master. That's the only person I know in Denmark uh, is named Renee. I think that's How the only reason going on. Oh. Sorry, go ahead, Jerry. No, go ahead. I, 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 was, I was just asking, I was just asking Renee, how is the 3D printing going? It says, it just said it's, uh, it's pretty good, just been too busy at work and such, the usual hee hee. Yeah. 
Well, he's a programmer, so software development. Let's see. Liam uh, is a control board holder, power supply holder, and drawer. He's printing out a PLA. All these other structural parts are PETG. Correct. Renee, Thunder uh, DK74 says 3D printing is on hold for now. I've been too busy with other stuff, setting things up here in the house and work. Wait a second. Someone says 3D printing is not important. What's going on here? <laughs> yeah, these are easy to put on afterwards. The tolerances are too tight in these. So I just put it, I'll just do what I was doing all along and sliding them in after the fact. Seems to work out best for me. Ooh, these are out, these are not aligned. These screw holes are not perfectly aligned. I'm wondering if it's um, material shrinking after printing. Let me do everything else first. I may have to widen those out. So let me get back to that and I'll do these instead. bolted down let me check one thing sorry oh okay so the ends of these parts are tapped so they want these put on and, and bolted down and then this part put on over that i did not see that it was tapped until just now so these bolt in here make sure it's using these longer bolts Well, all this so far seems to be going together real easy. So far, yeah. I just want to make sure these bolts do not seem to be long enough. Is there a longer version of them? Hmm. I'm not sure whether these are any longer than the other, and I don't know if they'll fit. They should. They should catch. I just need to turn it so I can see what I'm doing. Just one second, guys. Uh, there we go. Good biting. It's not. But these are wrong bolts. Let me find out. The only seems to be one size, so I'm gonna check these. Okay, they don't fit. You're on top of your Allen wrench, is that why it's wobbly? Um it's actually no, I need to straighten the frame up in a while. On the okay, on the top it looks like it's on your Allen wrench. Yeah, it's not. So these okay, I think we found a snag. Because these bolts are not long enough, and none of these bolts are the right diameter. Let me check, dump these out and have a look. Uh, I need to find a white one that fits. These are all the same. I think we got an issue that I need to figure out because the, the tap in these the board fits in it doesn't it doesn't thread it's a little too small I have a feeling 
And I'm, I, and I'm searching the bolts just in case there's ones that are different sizes. It doesn't appear to be. And the ones that come with a printer again slide right in. I think they tapped them too large. I think drill them and tap them for the next for a larger size bolts. And I don't think I have one. I have to figure out what type of thread it takes and buy bolts for it. So I do not have bolts to do this. So the, 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 the bolts in this, the holes in this, are tapped. They're drilled out and tapped. And the tap is too big. You don't have an assortment of bolts you bought off Amazon has all different sizes? Uh, no. I can do the rest of the assembly. I just can't bolt them together here. Because, until I, um, and I'll probably have to leave one out anyway because I'll have to bring it to the hardware store to get the right size. But it fits everything fits together nicely, so it goes together like so. Nice. Looks great. But the top of the screw holes on this are too small, are too big for the bolts. So I'd have to get it. I don't think any of these bolts would fit. Let me try the other one. Maybe it's just one, tap is bad on one. Actually, it fits on that one. Do these black bolts fit us? Okay, so. They made a mistake in one, it does work with the other one. So I can attach one at least. So the tap does work on this one. The tap on the other one was too big. Oh, did I speak too soon? Uh, it's a little, it's not perfect, but it might work. Let me try. And because of the holes by your right hand that bolt to the other part, they're not flipped around backwards, right? Um, no, the bolts are facing um, outwards with the, with the uh, you see their, their countersunk to allow the bolt to head to win. Okay, so I don't have four holes in each end. So that other piece that don't work isn't flipped around the wrong direction. No, 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 no. There's only one direction that has the tapped holes. I see. And the tap, so I can get a bigger bolt for that. So I can, I can find a way around it. I just need to find the right size bolt for that. But for, for now, uh, these will work on this one but they won't work on the other one because the tap is what well, they they tapped it too large this is what we beta test right to find these issues Snug there. Let me get that flush. It's uh, that's not a fitting tight and well. Uh, I may have to do both of them. Um, All these yeah. kits they sent out to everybody to beta test with, they possibly were done a while back. And the people that have already finished this build that have posted on their Discord might have already ran into the same problem, and then they couldn't correct it since they already had so many things already tapped and drilled and gets ready well, to go out. I can change bolt sizes. So one of these bolts goes in right and locks in. The other side is not going in. I thought it was going in a while ago, but it doesn't fit very well. Hmm. It is... It, um, Maybe it needs to be a longer bolt. Let me see if I can push it out. Yeah, like I can push that out. It's not even making. Let me just try a different bolt in case it was a thread on that bolt is a problem. Yeah, no, it, there's there's no there's no grip in there. Um, I could do a longer bolt, but the problem is the only ones I have that came with a printer are super long, and it's not tapped deep enough for that to work. That would potentially work if the tap was really deep, but it's not. So I need to up. I need to um, use the other one as my guide to uh, to get the right size. But for now, I can finish off um, all of these parts. Uh, I just have to leave off one leg because I need to get the right size bolts to fit it. So I can actually get this in place. And get a lot, get the bolts into this section. 
so it's ready. Um, yeah. Anything, anything else happening, guys? So if you get the kit, um, if anyone does have the kit or has the kit on the way, they've, they've been one of the beta testers, make sure you check the tap on the bolts, on, on those end pieces, that it fits correctly. Because um, mine was, it was reamed out too much. And check your T-nuts as you put it together to make sure you have the... They appear to be two different sizes. And just verify them as you go. Good. Chad, do you have any questions about the build that he's working on today? Yeah, if you have any questions about the build, or you can join the group. It's uh, you can do search for Tig, Tig, T I G T A K, um, on Facebook. Um, and it's a private group, but chances are they'll let you join. I'm pretty sure they will. Um, when you're in there, the files are posted on GitHub, but um, the rest of the kit, they're not shipping yet. Um, as I said, we are testing it for them. And once we're finished testing, like that tap is, it can happen, you know. Machine, If it's tapped by a machine, the machine can, like the rest of us, can have bad days. Um, so... But I have a feeling these were these were hand tapped, and whoever hand tapped them just reamed it out a bit too much. So I can buy larger. I can buy the right size bolts that I think needs is needs, um, and I can finish, do it myself and get. I can re, if I need to retap it, I will. Uh, if for anyone who hasn't done any um, metal tapping, just uh, especially with aluminum. Two turns in, one turn out. Two turns in, one turn out. Repeat the process, right? You don't want to. You don't want to overdo it because you keep going in. You, you don't want to break the tap inside, and use a drop of oil on the tap when you're doing it to make sure you don't end up um, getting a seize inside. And if it gets seized inside, you break the tap, and then you have to drill the tap. It's when you drill, it'll be best if you had a drill press to keep it perfectly straight, and then hand tap the threads, right? I mean, hey Corey. Thanks for the greeting, and Hello, Liam. Corey. Thank you so much. Uh, Corey is doing is the same is doing what Tripod does. Hey, everybody, and Liam. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said morning, gentlemen, and Liam. Yeah, well, yeah, same difference. And Liam, I'm not, are you saying I'm not a gentleman? Thanks, man. I'm surprised Kieran hasn't popped in. It's yeah, but it's very, very, very early morning for him. He might pop in in a while. Because it is super early. Like he's probably sleeping right now, is my guess. You know what, Jerry? What infill are you using on your on your pet G parts? What? What infill are you using on your pet G parts? Twenty-five. Oh, my layer here, six okay. four four, six top, six, uh, four bottom, four perimeter, twenty-five percent infill. All right, you should be good then. All right. Sith, uh, Here Brit sleeps, Brit apparently Brit he does, yeah. Is Brit, say, is Brit leaving, you said? No. Oh. I think Karen sleeps. Yeah, he does. Apparently. Corey says, my apologies, there are ladies present as well. Um, I thought you were going to call me a lady. A long time ago, my wife said, or somebody asked me why I say hi, guys, to everybody. And I say, women that hang out with women probably walk in the room and say hi, guys. I doubt that women say hello, ladies. They probably say, "Hey, guys." 
So I, uh, you know, when I, I say hi, I see everybody. I think that varies, Jerry. Okay. Actually, I shouldn't tighten those up. I need, I need to um, do a small bit of alignment on these first to make sure. So I'm just I am close to being finished with um, this upper part of the gantry. Besides having to get the right size bolts I need for that. <laughs> oh, by the way, um. Britt, how is your um, how is that uh, printer going for you? The the one that we we helped you with the ABL on it. I haven't. I didn't get an update since our last since we were last on stream with you. I want, I'm going to loosen these and I'm going to do a quick alignment drop on this. Bear says greetings by uh, pedal carbon base. Sediment beings, sentient beings, sentient. She said it's up and printing. Good, excellent. Love it when the plan comes together. So I want to line this bracket. I want it to tap it, and I don't have my rubber metal with me. At home. I need to loosen them a little bit more, I think. Yeah, they're snagging. I just want to get these perfectly aligned. And because I have the bolts in there, the T-nuts, they don't move very easily by hand. So you need to tap them a little bit. And it's best to use a rubber mallet. Don't go out and Yeah, I don't have one. But what I'm doing. <laughs> well, it's not, it's not really bolted in, so it'll move. Yeah. There you go. You know, if at first you don't succeed, get a bigger hammer. Isn't that right, Jerry? Yeah, I've got a lot of hammers. <laughs> My wife said, why do you have you know, five, six, seven, eight hammers? I said, you all have different, reasons, different uses. Yeah, or you lose one, you can't find it, you find it later. And yeah, I got a lot of hammers. A couple of them look yeah. Framing hammers, finishing hammers, uh, homeowner hammers. So far, this is going to get her nicely, other than that tapping, that issue with the tap. But I can solve that. And my printer Corey is says, everything. Corey says, my E3 is down at the moment. Extruded oh, my. Here, the little brass bit is worn down to where oh. it was pushing filament at the moment. I can't get it off. Ordered the new stepper last night. Yeah, I, the, some of them are pressure fit, and I don't like those because you cannot make mods to it. Um, well, you can you can take the pressure fit off, but it requires heating up the brass the brass with a torch, and then, and then um, uh, leveraging it off. It's not good. It's not a great solution. My pro that I'm going to be using for this build has some pressed on gears. Yeah, um, the extruders on the Corelli have pressed on gears too. Yeah, my stepper motor on the. But we, they should be okay for positioning. Or stepper motor on the Y. Yeah, well, that's that. Well, that's the Z stepper that will become the Y axis. So, Zon said his finished print posted up on TikTok. Sweet. Okay, I'm not going to attach the other one because I need to bring the extrusion with me to find the right size um, bolt for it. Um, I will. This is. This is okay. I can always take the cover off it, but the, what's going to look like is um, this one. This will go on here. 
and then you have the the, the uh, extrusion that joins the two these two sides together. So let me loosely attach that, and that's what the upper gantry is going to look like. I'll attach that one there so you can see what it looks like. Flip cameras and hold it up. Yeah, one second. I'm going to put in all the. I'm going to put the these extrusions in first, um, to make it look like it's assembled. Even though I have a piece to do yet, because I have to take a, will it take it with me. Shadow Quark. Hello, hello. How are you? So main screen. Okay, so the upper gantry is as such, and Very this nice. will then mount onto the base, onto the the forty forty extrusion on the base. And the belt will actually run. In, it will run. Uh, let me go to the two and one again because you're going to see the bottom. It's easier if I have that on. The belt will actually run here in between this, right along here. The belt will run. So our our um, our y axis is actually this is this height. There's not an awful lot of y axis in this. Um, there are pulleys that we mounted up here, and on top I would have. I can probably do that now. I have a motor mount for the for this stepper motor that will be mounted up here. And this stepper motor, let's spin it around this way for you. This stepper motor, which will be mounted here, will drive a gear that, and that'll go to an idler with a small belt. And then that belt will have an, there's an idler that goes underneath here so in and here that drives this shaft off that belt will be a shaft going from side to side and from there there'll be um there'll be belts moving the x moving the x country up and down on y because this becomes the y axis hello shadow court so that's what that's the upper stage and how it looks looks great yeah the tolerances are really, are really tight so and um so watch for that when you when you do your printing um and so far, like I suppose I can mount this on there right now. Uh, and get it attached. I, let me verify that's uh, that's all that needs to go on there. Just one second. Um, I'm looking at the, the explored view video. Sorry, it's a very short video and it's the explode of you. Yeah. So, Audacious, hello. hello. Who's that? Audacious, Audacious hello. He says, oh. I'm great with envy. Hey, Abedus. And Corey says, Dan, the most tender base belt printers I've seen do have the upright and cross on the X and Y axis that will make it really nice and stable. Well, this should be stable because it, uh, the strongest, the strongest, one of the strongest shapes. In nature, is a triangle, right? And this, the upper gantry, is a triangle, and then it's bolted onto the bottom. So, and it's, it's not going to be carrying much weight. So, it should be strong and stable. I stress the word "should be" because we do not know yet, and I haven't gotten to that stage. When we find out, we really won't know how strong and stable it is until we actually get into the to printing with it and seeing how the motion, how the how the motion is. Um, and if I needed to reprint it with a, with a different material, I can. Um, I'm just setting up. This is the holder for the, um, the Z, what was the Z stepper motor will now become the the motor for the um, moving the X axis up and down on Y because there's no the Z is our belt. Let me get these orientated correctly to so get it put on. I can always move it later if needed. But roughly mounts. That's fairly central, I think. I can move it later if needed. Corey says, never understood why more designers... Don't use that. They just leave the X and Y axis uh, just sticking up in there. How do you mean? Um, 
Well, no, a lot of them, they do, they do the X and Y on, on a bell pinner, they put the X and Y, but they do a 45 support off that. So most bell pinners are designed like this, whereas your, your X and Y is here, and this supports it, and then your belt moves underneath it, or this would be a straight, a, a directly straight upright. And, in, and that's what they use. Um, that's what a lot of people do, you tend to use. Like the CR30 is a bit like this. Uh, Abydos, which I was saying his name wrong, triangle strength is second, um, only to the strength of the Lego brick being stepped on. <laughs> you know what? I agree with that. If you think Lego brick, I've been trying to convince Chris Brillo to do this. I don't know if you're out there, Chris, but I keep telling Chris, why are you walking on Lego? Why don't you turn around and, and, and turn around and put down filament um, supports from a 3D print and walk on that? If you think Lego hurts, you ain't never stepped on, 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 on print supports. Yeah, I don't think Legos will cut you, but all that support material will. <laughs> it might. And I think the reason why he doesn't do that is because um, uh, you can't do you, the Twitch ones allow you to have blood in the stream. Not intentional anyway, especially, right? So our mount our motor will be mounted here with an idler on it. And there'll be this there'll be an, and this will go down. It's not this motor, it'll be a different motor. It'll be this one. And it will have it will go down to a bearing that uh, an idler in here that will run a shaft across between these two. I can get the shaft and show you roughly what it looks like. So I can So it'd be something like this, where you have the shafts running from, from side to side, and there'd be an idler in here, an idler up underneath here, and a second idler underneath here, right? And what's happening is the, um, so there's two idlers on this side, one inside underneath here and one inside here, and the motor here will drive, with a small belt, will drive down here and spin this, and that will turn both sides, idlers on both sides in tandem, and they'll be linked via um, an idler here to the bottom on each side. So I can show you. Oh, I don't want to lift it there. So there's buttons either to go in the bottom here, down here. And that will control the motion of the X gantry up and down along Y. And that's how it's put together. That's how the upper stage is all done. And then there's wiring and stuff to be done to be worried about later on, but that's the basic gist of how it is all how it's assembled. And then the belt area, which will be the base of the printer, because the whole, the whole bed and so on is ripped off the printer, and new ones are and there's a, a different smaller bed put on there. And then the belt will actually sit in here. This will mount to the base of the printer as it stands today, uh, with all of the top parts removed, like the the the, the white the the print bed and so on, all removed. And then the belt will sit above that and um, running off, obviously a stepper running that, and that would control the rotation of the belt. Nice. So that's what it's looking like so far. How do we do for our first day, guys? What do you think, Jerry? Done great. I think it went together okay. I won't put these on. Um, I won't attach these yet. I was going to, hope to, but because of that extrusion, um, not being tapped. Actually, you know what? I could ignore the tapping. And just bolt it on. What do you think? Because this, this, this will hold, it's the tapping is to hold when you tap them, is to hold this piece and this piece together. But I can but do that by bolting these bolting this on, to, on instead. You already have multiple bolts there, you may not need to have the one where it's tapped. That's what I'm thinking. So let's do that, right? Maybe if we maybe need to, we can worry about it later. They could have designed the part, but then realized, well, wait a minute, we don't need to tap that. People just, you know, skip that hole. So that's what I'm thinking may have happened. So I think I might just finish off that corner and then here on on this side. Yes, I'll be streaming in three hours, 20 minutes. Yeah, I'll be long done before that, guys. Don't worry. You don't have to put up with me that long. You can, but you don't have to. So let me get, get this assembled. And I'll go over and I'll do the assembly of that side and I'll leave it there as after that then for this week because that will be the upper gantry complete other, besides 
the belts and, and, and setting up the, the gantry on it, right? So let's go do that. Um, more tea nuts. I'm going nuts for tea nuts. Okay, so I need to turn this up on edge first of all. If I can get these in a snug. Okay, Corey, we'll wait for you. you oh, go no, I, forgot, I forgot one thing, Jerry. What? The screw alignment is off here. The T nut alignment is off. So this may not work after all. Can you wall or that hole over so you don't have to reprint it? I will. Well, um, let me see if it's the same on both sides. I'll have to widen the hole. So I can't do it now because I'm. Yeah, I'd have to ream the hole, make that bigger. You got a drill handy and a drill bit near you? Just drill it out. No, no I keep my drill, drill bits in the garage. I don't have any drill bits in the, here. Because I do all, all that. Right. Kind of thing. So I will have to widen these. Let me well, get wait a, if you want to go grab it. I'll wait. I'll keep everybody entertained. No, it's okay. I, I could I can do some I can I can um I need to mark them first of all. These are okay. These are fine. It's just where these join. You know what? I might be able to force it. I might get away with forcing it a little bit. Let's try. Instead of marking them, I would just put a drill bit in it while it's in the extrusion. It's not going to tear up the extrusion, just maybe barely and straighten out the drill bit. And it would yeah, but I think I might get it to work. If I try, if I try and I might be able to get it to work if I get one in and tighten it up. Um, let's see if that will work. If not, I can widen them up. But let's try and avoid. Yeah, there's a slight difference in size. Um, it looks like the holes, either the walls are too wide, which it shouldn't be because it's you've 3D printed the outer side, right? When you print something. So I'm guessing um, the screw holes are slightly off. Oh. And I can widen them out. I, I probably won't do it on stream, though. But I can just widen them a little bit. Make note of that to let the company know. Oh, oh, I always do. Yeah, no, I have to widen it. I have to widen it for sure. All right, yes, so I won't, I won't do them. I won't do it now. I'll do them and I'll, I'll, I'll attach them. All I'm going to do is widen the hole a tiny bit. And Hello, uh, I'll attach the mechanics. How are you today? And yes, this is a tic tac. Yeah, we're doing the tic tac build. There's a few things that um, I've noticed. Um, small things. So, just to give a summary, the these parts that are the brackets for up here. Um, two things I noticed in that one area. First of all, the tapped holes in the end of the extrusion is tapped to the wrong size. It's too large for the bolts, and that's a small issue that they, that um you can just get a larger bolt and, and probably just retap it. And the holes in the extrusion in the cover here are slightly off. And I mean by, you know, I could probably get away with it just by sending down the party as well. If I send the inside of this down a little bit, I could probably make them fit. That's how little it's off. It's only off by about about a one, about a millimeter, maybe, maybe, maybe one and a half millimeters is all it's off. But I will. I'll bore. I'll widen those those out. Actually, I might even be able to do that with a screwdriver. Do I have a screw? Let me see if I have. Where's my um two my screwdriver set? If I use a larger bit. One moment. 
Um, well, I hope everybody's having a great day today. Uh, happy Saturday. And I'm going to be doing this build. I The con company sending me out the parts. I've got about 10 parts printed now. I need to print like 20 more. And I've got more uh, PETG coming in the mail. I had an air print yesterday after 17 hours. So I had to throw the print away. And then I reprinted the same part today. And anyway, I had to stop the print because I'm, I, I'm getting uh, a clogging issue. So that won't do it. Yeah, I'll have to ream it out. I was wondering if I could do it with a with a key or something, but I know I'd better off to use the drill and get it done right. Yeah, I don't have a drill. I don't have a drill here in the room with me. So um, let's see if we can Jerry rig this. Hey, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> That actually might work. Swallow it out a little bit. That's what I'm trying to do, yeah. Just using an Allen key. And chew it up a little bit and then smoothen it out. Let's try. Let's see if it works. <laughs> That's my maniacal evil laugh. Sorry, it's as good as I do. <laughs> Did you get it? I think so. Let's try the second one. One went in fine. If I can get a second, the second one to fit. Oh, I never watered out the other one, so let me undo it again. 3D Mechanics said, yeah, this kit is on my list of things to do. Converting my Odin 5 is currently first on my list. I'm planning to convert to ceramic. Oh, your inner fight to a ceramic printer? Oh, that sounds like a fun project. Are you What kit are you using for that? Are you using a kit for that? What, what are you doing? A ceramic printer is a cool idea. Now, my inner 5 is a great printer. I, um, I love my inner 5. But um, doing a... Doing a a ceramic printer sounds like a cool idea with it. That'd be a nice project. Like if I if I ever replace the inner five with a different type of printer. You said an Odin five, not under five. Or oh, Odin five to a ceramic printer. So you're basically all you're doing is replacing the print head then. Zolan says, convert to ceramic. I'm confused by that statement. Put in a ceramic print head so you can actually print ceramics and then fire them afterwards. You can hmm. get cer printable ceramic materials. Oh, okay. Um, that it, it's, like, it's, a, like an, it's an injection process, but you can print ceramics on a printer. And then later on, and then you extrude, you extrude it out. And, um, Take care. Have a great day. And then you you have to fire it to get it to get it finished. Now that's too tight. I have to ream it out outside. The boards are getting stuck inside. The T nuts get them. Um, they know they get skewed. Zolan says to print with ceramic impregnated filament. I thought I could already do that. I have a ceramic filament, and it can pr print on any of my printers, uh, even the stock Ender 3 hot end. I yeah, but it's not, a, a no, it's not a ceramic filament. It's actual, it's actual ceramic. You, it's a, it's, and it uses like what it, well, it's like a large syringe with a large nozzle and, in, and basically extrudes ceramic, a thick paste, and that is what you do in a printer, and it dries fast. And then you have to put you have to harden it, you have to fire it afterwards. So I've seen those and they're really Quinton cool. Mangoes, hello, hello. And hey, Mangoes, how are you? Print clay. 
this will not print clay because this is not this is an ordinary print this is a um converting an fdm printer to a different type of fdm printer but um yeah. ceramic printers yes they can print a type of clay you have to get a special type of clay that um that actually kind of semi dries as you print it and then after so many layers like it has to start solidifying if it doesn't it'll just slop but when it's done and it's more liquidy when it comes out initially it's like a thick like a toothpaste and then afterwards um when you print it out afterwards you um you have to fire it to fully harden it that went together okay ish i think Let me get these the sides of it done. But you can get clay printers out there. They're really expensive. So if you can even do a mod to an existing printer to be a clay printer, it's a lot less expensive because the clay printers are about two grand a piece. And that's the and that's on the low end. Yeah, you have to fire it afterwards because you need to harden it. Um, not firing it, it would not solidify. Last time I done ceramics was fourth grade. I never did ceramics. In school. Yeah, nope, never did ceramics in school. That worked. Nice. Looks great. Um... Now we have to get a texture. Thanks for the cheers. <laughs> so let's get this attached here. Um, yeah. Ooh, why is it into the line? Or do you know why? Oh, I, I know it won't work. Because I bolted it in, but it only holds two bolts. I suppose I can always back it out. Let's we'll see how, how it works if I back it out. Um, it should only be one depth in. One, it, it's too. It's in too far. So I have to take out this one bolt. It's in too far. Yeah. The problem is. Come on, Jerry. Is because this needs to slide all the way in first before this gets attaches. So, and I set it up so it's too deep. Yes, Jerry, go on. Say it. <laughs> oh, you're doing a great job. Mm. I apologize for that. I said before. No, it's fine. Being it's all to the fun. No, 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 it's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> it's good. All good. So, let me see now if I can get this to fit. Um, and yeah, puppies. We got puppies. Yeah, they're both here wanting a bone. Oh, there's Smiley. There's Nikita. So I just see if I can get this back out again. Now that's a question. Let me grab my bone real quick. Sure. So we just take this apart, and I'll move it. Uh, I need to actually attach it to the other part first. Because I need to make sure it goes together correctly. So this will need to go on here. And then I need to attach the upper part first. And it needs to go on. So there's only going to be three bolts holding that. But that will work. So that will work. I just didn't. I did, I we we're figuring it out as we go, guys. You know, so it should snug. And on this way. So out of that entire roll of film, and I only got these two parts. Since wow. that drawer, that drawer part got wasted, so 
So possibly that other roll coming in the mail won't be enough. Yeah, well, I did. You, know, you, you might be enough for um, the drawer. Well, that drawer, I tell you, do the drawer in a different material. Yeah. In a PLA. Um, it oh, doesn't need to be stretchy. You do it a different color. Um, it's going to be underneath. Like, do it in a black PLA if you have a black PLA. I did a mine the mixture between gray and black because I realized I was running out of black and it's going to be around by the belt. And it, no one's going to see it because it's going to be underneath. So I'm. Um, after printing the tray in black, I realized that I didn't have enough for the for the holder. So I switched to I started off with black, switched to gray, finished off the print, and then when it got to the very top, I went back to black again. So the face, the what's facing out, is um, um was uh, black. So no, Shadow, this, this kit is not available yet. Shadow Quark wants to know if there's kits available to do this, and what filament did you use? Okay. I use this is all the, everything but the tray was on Impechi. All the green parts are on um, Impechi. The tray I did, which I'll show you in a moment, was PLA um, because the tray is not supporting any structural parts. So I didn't mind it. Uh, let's pop that up there. Where's that going on, right? Corey's back. He got his coffee, so we can go ahead now. Oh, all is well that Corey's got coffee. Where's mine, Corey? You can't say you got coffee and not supply for everybody else. Come on, man. 3D Mechanics said I went to the UNI Open uh, day today uh, when they showed me the CNC and printer's mice lit up like a four year old on Christmas morning. <laughs> Isn't that all of us when it comes to technology? When we see cool stuff? Okay, I need to take this off the table. I need to have it working. I'm going to wedge it here while I do this. Corey says a French press coffee maker is a wonderful tool. I just wish it was a little bit faster. 3D print your coffee, Liam. Um, there's, well, there's food printers out there, but they don't do coffee. They'll do... They will do 3D printing on top of the froth if you do a, an espresso. Our printers out there that will do that today. Um, the actually Weedo make one. Uh, I thought Crowley were going to do one, but they, they decided to back out of it. There's also chocolate printers out there. Yes, Sith, Brit, there is um, coffee or chocolate printers out there. Where you can 3D print chocolate. Not eat it before it hits the printer. And then I'd, after I reviewed it, it would never get used again. Say that again? I said if I had a chocolate printer, I would review it, do a video on it. And then that's the first and last time it would ever get used. I would never have a reason for it. Well, they're great for anybody who does who does um, baking. Yes. If you're a baker, Cupcake chocolate printers are fantastic. If baking is not your thing, then yeah, it'd be a waste of time. Ah, that one's moved. Let me do the other one. I'll get that. Yeah, I have to fish that back out. I do oh, that often. These peanuts are a bit awkward in, in this one area, but because they're not perfectly aligned. There we go. Let's try that again. Hey, Loopy. Hello, hello. Congrats on your win of the film last night on Loyal Moses. Okay, I have a question for everybody in chat. What's with this monopoly between uh, Louise and, um, and, and Matt winning stuff? Come on, guys. You have to let everybody else get a chance too, right? I've never known Louise to win before. First time I've seen her winning. No, she's won before. She won a printer. Okay, I thought Matt won it. Okay. No, Louise won one too. Nice. Okay, so this is going to get her. Okay. okay. 
Zolan says, though, Astro, a roommate will be reaching out to you. He wants to host a stream Facebook for an hour that covers the JWT and other such projects. Okay. Sure. Uh, Bruno, I, 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 I plan to do stuff around James Webb as well. It's like a Tim stream. I keep dropping stuff. Shadow Quark City won stuff on my stream. Yeah. Loopy says, no, I only won stickers and a mug off Honey Badger. Oh, I thought you won. Life. I thought you won a printer. My mistake. I thought you won at least one printer. Just one thing. These being 45 degrees is a bit awkward to hold. Loopy says, uh, uh, Matt, they gave me a printer that I won, which I think was the Focus, and it should have probably been the Prusa Mini, and Matt's like, nope, nope, she won the Focus. Yeah, I know. Matt, I mean, and he said it on stream too. So we all heard him say it, say that it was her printer. And then he switched the machine around. He got loyal to switch the machine to a machine that was twice the price, and loyal did. And he still, and then he changed his mind. He wanted it to be his machine then. So yeah, Matt, we're gonna we're gonna give you a hard time over that one. Okay. More extrusion. This one I can put the, 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 the bolts in ahead of time, I think. So you think that will be fine without tapping that hole, right? I think it will because there's not going to be a lot of stress on it. So I think it might be okay. Um, if need be, if I find it's a problem later on, I can address it. Yeah, that hole they might have added by mistake. That's why they didn't tap the extrusion. Possibly. And the top, the top screwing in together, it would make for a stronger part. But again, I don't think it's going to be under that much stress, so I don't. I'm not too worried about it. Hello, Matt. How you doing? Oh, yeah. Matt, Matt's coming in to defend himself now that we're giving him a hard time about duping Loopy out of her, um, uh, duping Louise out of her, uh, um, Prusa Mini. Matt says, "LOL." Uh, she wanted the focus, so I gave her one LOL. The Prusa is my LOL. Yeah, see? <laughs> he doesn't He just doesn't realize until he gives it to Louise. We're not, he's not going to hear the end of this, <laughs> ever. <laughs> and then Ann says, I thought also he wanted a Loopy to build the Prusa. Yeah, I yes. Think I remember that. Yes, that, that, was the, that was also discussed. And then Corey says, speak of the devil, LOL. So let's get this on. Some parts have got so many bolts holding it together, it's unreal. Probably a little bit overdone, maybe. I suppose it adds to rigidity, but still. Why use six bolts when you can use two and four, right? I think they're overdoing some of the bolts on it a little bit. Unnecessarily so, but. It'll work. So what you got lined up for your stream for your hangout this afternoon, Jerry? Uh, I'm talking about a couple things I'm working on and hanging out with people and seeing what they're working on and letting them uh, promote themselves and help people with problems and play some oh, games. And yeah. Oh, by the way, do another shout out. I don't know if D with Tim is there, but to shoot another shout out for Tim. Um, we, the reason why we have Jerry on today is Tim donated money last. He gave, donated twenty five bucks for Streamyard last night, um, for a month of Streamyard, so we can have um, uh, uh, multiple people on. I can normally do six, but I was running out of hours, and if we, when you pay for it, it um, you don't have limitations. And Tim donated for a month of Streamyard to me last night, which is great, and that's what I used it for. Um, that's why we have Jerry in here with us today. 
I'm just checking to confirm his name on oh, DWIT 3D. Okay, I'm going to redo that. So, thank you, Tim. And thank you to uh, Tic Tac, who uh, sent me the kit that you're seeing being assembled right now. And it is a beta kit, so if you find issues, you know what? That's why we do beta testing, right? We, we find issues, we report it, we tell them what we found, and then when they go to full production, they fix it. So um, thank you guys for sending me the kit. Uh, it has been put to use, as you see, and we will get it uh, built over the next couple of weeks. Hey, Vincent, 1977 all out. Hello, hey, Vincent. Hello. Another one of our Nordic friends in Holland. Holland's far enough north to be called Nordic, I think. Not only just not just Sweden and Finland and all those guys in, in Denmark. I think they're north enough. They're 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 surrounded by the the North Sea. So I think they qualify. What do you think, Jerry? Hey, Anne, how are you? I wasn't paying attention to what you said, so I'll just sit here and be silent. <laughs> no, no, I was just saying hi to Anna is on. No, you asked me something and I was reading. I didn't understand or hear you. Oh, I did? Well, it mustn't have been important because I don't remember it. <laughs> yeah. So it, apparently it wasn't all that important, so don't worry about it. <laughs> My print is going well. Um, Tim, if you're if you're watching. I'm doing those shells. Um, I've done. I did one as a test last night, and since it printed so nicely, uh, I just did a sec. I'm, I'm doing a second one. I'm probably going to do four of them. Is all I need because uh, I'm going to mount. I'm going to put um, two rows on up the wall to, to mount my filament. But it's. Uh, I didn't. I actually didn't know about those. I hadn't seen them until you uh, showed them on your stream. It came out the one I printed last night. I have to make the French cleats for it, but it came up beautiful. It came out really nice. The rep cord. If you anybody else looking for those, you can find them on um, on the on the, the Prusa 3D website. They have them out there. Okay. Then she wants to know what's the cost to convert all this. Um, price of the filament at the moment. The filament is about three spools. Um, the the kit was sent to me um there was three spools roughly three and a half spools of filament used get it all locked together and then i have to you didn't already three. have an ender three bought an ender three where a lot yeah. of people may have one laying around yeah if you have an ender three an ender three um will work um it's designed to convert an ender three or an ender three v um the ender three pro but we found some Stuff that needs to be modified for the pro. Let me check one thing. Um, but uh, and we we've, we've made them aware of the issue of what they need to modify. Um, the Ender three, the, or, the original Ender three will work. Um, stock, and the kit, the parts to be three D printed are on GitHub. But if you go to Facebook, they have a group on Facebook for TIG TAC, T I G T A K, um, and that is for this for this kit. Uh, they have not doing any more betas at the moment. They finished the betas about a week ago. They're just waiting on feedback from the beta the beta, beta user who got the kits shipped to them, of which I am one, and that's what I'm building here and now. And if we find issues or whatever, we report it to them. Uh, I've already started um, some assembly, and I've already given them some feedback on what I found initially. And I will resume do, to do that while I uh, build it. These are off as well. I forgot to ream these out. Um, I'll just get back to this one. Um, I'll get the rest of it assembled, and I'll ream those out while they're in place. So... Make sure it fit. 
But we're only doing the upper gantry anyway today. That's all we're here to build today. We're not going to get the rest of it done because I know we won't have the time. It very well. Any questions or anything? Coffee time? Yeah. Uh, it'll be lunch time when I'm finished here. Loopy Lou told the story of how, how the printers came about with her and Matt. Um, Shadow Quark said nice and it's coffee time. Yeah. So if anyone has any questions on the bill. I'm happy as Octoprint stickers arrived. Excellent. Um, we should get this. As I said, I'm only going to stop at the upper gantry and leave it for today. Next week, we will do part two, where we start working on the base somewhat. And then we, we may even get into doing the belt part. I'm not sure. We have to see how it goes next week. But we've been going for how long now? Just over two hours. So I think that's once I get this done, I think that'll be more than enough. And um, next week we will get into that's the wrong size. And D with Tim, if you're watching or you see this later, thank you very much for donating $25 to Liam. So he's yes. able to stream yard for 30 days. And he's a sponsor for the next 30 days of uh, uh, his hangouts. And if anybody yeah. else would like to donate for future months to Liam, he'd really appreciate it. He doesn't want to ask, so I'll ask for him. Um, that way he can have up to 10 people at a time on stream. He can have his own logo. There's, you know, a lot, a lot of benefits to it. Well, but, you know what? If you really, like, you could do that or subscribe to the channel. Subscribers mean you get, no, um, like, follow the channel. First of all, that's a big thing. That really helps because you get notified when I go live and when I'm doing stuff here on Twitch. Um, and then if you subscribe to the channel, and if you're an Amazon Prime member, it's, you can do it for free. Because if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can subscribe for free, free of charge. Um through Amazon and Prime Gaming. And by doing that, uh, you might become a repeat subscriber. And that's actually, to me, that means a lot more to me. Um, like, because I have people who are constantly coming back to watch my content. Main Customs says, check your PayPal, Liam. Uh, 3D Obama says, how's it going, Factoid Man, and all the Factoid Minions? It's going good, Lama. And then Vincent, I read the old phone. We want you to keep building. Yeah, I'm just going to have a quick look while, I, while I'm here. It takes me a second, but I have an old phone. So, one second. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you, Chris. Thank you so much. Chris, you need $25, which, uh, which you'll pay for PayPal for next, uh, the stream yard for next month. Awesome. Thank you very much, Chris. That's great. Thank it's very nice. Right. So um, other than putting the bolts in here, which I'm about to do, our upper gantry, which is our X, which is our X, and this is now our Y, is other than the electronics being added with like the stepper motors and so on, it's pretty much done other than a couple of bolts over here, and which I'll take care of right now. But uh, the, the vast majority of the work on this is pretty much ready to, it's pretty much done so was, I, my goal was to try and get the upper gantry finished do you have a whiteboard do you have a whiteboard we can jot down notes in your room off to the side to keep I have a, I have a separate room okay and I, I, on the issues that i come across i will be actually i'll be email messaging them on discord because i i have a private and actually i have a, a wechat chat with with them as well um, with the with with the company, so but I would message them directly. I meant for and, donations and such. You can keep track of who does what, so you remember in a future. That's a, good idea. that's a great idea, Jerry. I got a whiteboard near me. I write down Twitch commands and what I made on Google or Twitch and different things that I can reference it by looking at it. It's, it's so it looks like there is not. It's more not Ender Three than there. In the, yeah, it's very, 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 very 
far fetched. Like the industry base is still there, assembled on, over there on a rack behind me. But um, next week, uh, that won't exist. Because next week we'll be ta we'll be taking the base part of it apart, pulling out the electronics, and uh, getting into the nitty gritty parts of it to build the base. Because this took a lot of time, and the base of it I'm sure will take similar time uh, to get some of it done. We won't do it all in one go. I don't think there's, I don't think it's feasible to do it in one in one sitting. Unless we'll you get a lot of it done. Unless you've already built ten of them and you can just bang right through it, that'd be probably the only way to do it that way. And having instructions really helps, and I don't have instructions. Yeah. I'm building this off um, um, an, a video that they, a short video that they posted that has an exploded view of the printer. I mean, it takes the printer, exp um, explodes it out, and puts it back together again. And it doesn't explode all the parts of it, just some, some of them. Let's see. That's, oh, I already tightened that. I shouldn't have done that yet. Make sure I lock it in so it's plumb with the base. And a couple of more bolts here, and we're done with this part of it for today. Two here, and I think it's four bolts on the other side. Besides the, the hiccups that we saw, so far they've done a good job in the design. What do you think, Jerry? Yeah, it's looking good. I think where the instructions, I think the frame is easy enough to assemble. I think where it comes down to is setting up the hotbed, what, like you have to solder the hotbed, and I'm wondering, going by this, the, side, the dimension changes, Will I have to make new cables? I probably, I may have to. I suspect I will have to make new cables because, like, one of the motors is now far away from where. Um, TH three D sells uh, real nice silicone wires too. For that. Uh, no, I have a roll of wire. I bought yeah. a couple of spools of wire, but um, I think like, some of them are four wires, so I'll have to do. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll have to rewire some of them. I meant for the heated bed. Well, the right. wires from the existing heating bed should be fine. I just desolder them and resolder. Okay. But um, the ones, excuse me, excuse me, um, the one for the stepper motors, I have a feeling I'll have to read. I'll have to redo those. I, the some like the one for the stepper motor up here. There's nothing on the end that will reach that. I don't think. Um, I think I'd have to redo that. So four here. And um, we're done. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm a Tim has all kinds of goodies. Tim is great stuff. Yeah. And if, you, if you use my affiliate code, you get five percent off. Yeah, I like. I I've bought some stuff from Tim in the past. Not an awful lot, but I've done some stuff. I've done some business with him. Zolan says for the Ender Extender Kit, I made a custom loom that the original wires plug into this way. If I want to go back to normal size, I don't have to hunt down the original wires. They are still in use. Well, I'll be just making the wires longer. So if I and if I ever want to go back, I can just just use them as is. You know, just tuck the wires away afterwards. That would be my my goal to do it. So long, wires too long is one thing. Wires too short, you can't repair. Right. So. And soldering is not an issue. If I, like, and the only thing I think I need is solder. And I have the crimp kits for the JST connections and so on as well. So I can do all of that. It's, it's easy enough to do. And if you don't have these and they're needed, you'll have to get them. You'll have to get, like, for sure, if you don't have a furl kit, you will need a furl kit. Because the Ender 3s, um, and I haven't even looked in the electronics on this one, 
but historically the ender tree does not have furls uh, and you will need a furl kit to make it safe to make it really safe so um you should invest in a furl kit if you're going to go with ender trees um to make you because if you're going to build rebuild a new printer why not do it right and instead of doing it um one way and then changing it later on okay just do it right the first time and we will we'll be doing that on stream if, if it's needed we will be doing those when we get to electronics last bowl guys last one for today and we're I have to ream this out, so I won't do that one yet. We're done. Upper gantry assembled and done and ready to go. What do you think? Does it look good? Looks great. So Y axis, X axis. The Y axis travel is going to be much shorter than the, than the original printer. But so our 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 Z height, our height for our Y, is probably only going to be. 100 it won't be very tall i'm guessing from here allowing for the axis to move yeah it'll probably about 100 is your y-axis so it's, not, it's going to be smaller and the bed width is 180 so you are greatly decreasing the volume of an of print area but overall they went together fine had to tweak a few pieces but that's part of being a maker so the, what's going to happen next is we need to re, we need to invert reverse this around because this will be going on here. I'll take it apart to mount it. This will go on here, um, and uh, there is there's no extruder on this. The extruder is mount is not as part of the head. I don't believe. But there is some is some inversion to be done on some of the setup to make it work. Long okay. six, Shannon just went live. Okay, perfect timing. Yeah, we're getting ready to wrap up so we can raid over to over to Shannon. Um, let me get onto my Twitch so I can do the raid. Um, and but I will do a, a, run, a finish up here because I want to put this on. This is going onto YouTube. So let me go to my Twitch. And uh, we can raid over to Shannon. How many people do we have in here right now? 22 people. Great. So, guys, what do you think so far? Looks good. I think it looks okay so far. Um, I would recommend 20-25% um, infill when you are printing those parts. Uh, let's see. Over to my, into my channel. Um, sorry. Just give me a second. I need to be in the channel to do the raid. Oh, Shannon was going out of town. That's Rona. Wouldn't be back till next week, so I'm surprised she's live, unless she's on her cell phone. Yeah, but she said she was going to be, she was going to do some stuff um, remote. She said, so she's awesome. probably doing that. And it'd be nice for us all to go over. Shannon's a maker. If you don't know her, Shannon, um, she does, um, she has done uh, like Iron Man suits and stuff like this, and she's working on a Green Goblin outfit right now. I, I only see the free heathen and you. I don't see her live. I see her live. She's got five oh, viewers right now. Oh, now it just popped up just now. I got to see it five. Yeah. Okay. It says Disney. Good. That's good to see it. Good to hear it worked. Um, I'm glad that worked. Yeah, she does uh, Marvel cosplay stuff. Yeah. And I'm glad that worked for you again, uh, to, uh, Corey. Yeah, she's in LA, but she is streaming. Uh, so we, we can go. We can either go to Free Heathen, but I don't know what he's working on. Um, we go to Shannon, uh, and I like support Shannon because she's got a smaller channel. Which and we should push over, uh, go over to Shannon, or we go to Uncle Traveling Mac, and he's probably playing games today. I'm not sure. He does some she's laser engraving. Sorry, she's live, in, she's live in the car driving Shannon. Oh, she's in the car. So, what's the free he didn't doing? Go check out his channel for me. Let me know. And um, we can always go over to the free heathen. He's got 15. He's, he's doing something in his room chatting with people so it'd be better target but if you're live in a car you're not going to be on for very long yeah okay so let me uh just get his copy and paste his name to make sure I get the spelling right yeah the free heathen yeah so we do uh, let me go over and set up a um 
a raid. We're going to raid over to Free Hidden. Uh, I should type that right. It really helps if I typed it correctly. Um, and guys, thank you for hanging out with me. Remember, I will be back here next week. We will be doing the next part of this next week. Um, and next next week, we will be going on to, into the base of the machine and tearing that apart to figure out what components we need to plug in um, to get it set up, to base it up, so we can actually start putting the belt onto it and so on. Uh, so we'll start working on that uh, next week. So if any have, have any last questions, now is your time. Okay, he's having issues with Jesse PLA. Okay, so he's printing. So let's we can go over to the free because Shannon, Shannon is actually in the car. Um, let's right over to the free heathen. Thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, remember, follow the channel, and if you haven't already done so, please do. And if you want to really want to support the channel, it is really helps if you turn around and subscribe. That helps the channel a lot, and you can subscribe for free if you are an Amazon Prime user using your Amazon Prime game membership. So and I'll um, be live in two and a half hours for my weekly maker hangout. Yep, and Jared will be going live soon as well. In at um, four p.m. Eastern, and, and that's one p.m. Pacific. Jared will be going live. So, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me, and come back. Remember, come back next week. I'm, I'm not sure it will be Saturday. It may be Sunday next week because um, my son has swim meets next Friday and Saturday, but he may not be in Saturday. This Saturday swim, so I don't know yet. But um, come hang out with me next weekend if you um, keep track of my. Facebook, you can find me on Facebook, facebook.com uh, um, forward slash um, astropreneur, and my page is there, and I will be posting updates there as we as we, um, schedule for next weekend, the continuation of it. Thank, thank you, you all for all the donations. Everybody's awesome. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you to everybody, and uh, um, I'll see you next week. Let's get, get this um, raid kicked off. Now let's see if it builds. Take care, guys. 16 viewers coming over. Excellent. We'll double the free heathen stream. All right. Let's raid now. Thanks, guys. Take care. Don't forget to end the stream like I always try to forget. <laughs> yep. did, 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 let me know if the raid finished, Jerry. Looks like it's working, but... Yeah? Did it read over? I think it did. 17. Let me hear what he's saying. Hey, brother. I knew you'd find me sooner or later. What yeah, Astro Printer is rating a party 16. Uh, okay, it rated. Casual Saturday. We're supposed to be doing Tinker. Yeah, the only thing you, need, you already did in the stream. Format today. 